she called it efirin. Efirin is not mint leaf. Efirin is basil leaf. So are you seeing the mix up? So she got a lot of shades from commenters and all of that, telling her that she was teaching and misinforming them about the wrong sets of information. Hi guys welcome back to my channel today my name is living healthy with Ogi, and on this channel i talk about tips hacks remedies foods and everything that has to do with living healthy a healthy lifestyle the journey and all that you need to know so on today's video i'll be talking about how to differentiate mint leaf from basil leaf or scent leaf so some people call it scent leaf others call it basil in other parts of the world now this video was inspired by a video a viral video that i stumbled upon on instagram where a event got over 20,000 reach over 20,000 reach on this particular video and do you know what she did that went that made the whole thing go wrong she talked about how to use mint leaf to detox your body and then while she was making the video she called it efirin efirin is not mint leaf efirin is basil leaf so are you seeing the mix up so she got a lot of shades from commenters and all of that telling her that she was teaching and misinforming them about the wrong sets of information that is not a good place now it didn't just end with the voiceover talking about scent leaf why the title was talking about mint leaf the video um write-up the write-up on the video as well also talked about opposite of what she was saying and people were confused are you talking about scent leaf or you're talking about mint leaf for your information they had to now re-educate her and tell her that scent leaf is different from mint leaf or ephyrin is different from mint leaf oh my god god i beg go. <laughs> So today guys i'll be showing you how to identify the differences between mint leaf and scent leaf so that video actually made me remember that anytime a video pops up about scent leaf or mint leaf a lot of people ask is it the same thing as scent leaf if you check under the comments you see that a lot of people keep asking that question that means the confusion hasn't ended over the years it still hasn't ended so today i hope at the end of this video you'll be able to see the both of them and identify which is mint and which is basil or scent so guys this is um mint leaf Okay, I got this from the market and this is basil or scent leaf. I didn't get it from the market. I got this from my home garden. Okay, so let me tell you about the physical attributes first of all. Mint leaves are smaller in sizes. The leaves are smaller and then they come light green, like not so, uh, not so dark. Like they don't come in dark green colors like that. And one peculiarity that the mint leaf has is that it is minty in aroma it has a minty fragrance like even if you don't eat mint you know what mint smells like or peppermint any of those fragrance any of those aroma that is exactly what you're going to perceive the moment you come close to this okay so it smells like those bubble gum that you're used to <laughs> that has mint flavors or sweets or candies that has mint flavors now this on the other hand doesn't have that kind of aroma it has a dash of citrus um, smell it is pungent it is slightly spicy and it has flavor in this is in smell and also in taste another physical attribute that the, the basil leaf or scent leaf has is that it is broader in shape and sizes it is bigger it is wider we even have some leaves that are bigger than this like there are sometimes like when the rain starts i've noticed that that's my scent leaf grows way bigger and bolder than even these sizes but you won't find that in mint leaf now it has the small flowers at the top i'm not sure mint leaf has that i am not sure i am not sure so this is where the seeds are when they get dry you can spray this and water them and it will germinate again so um this another physical attribute i find in them is that the mint leaf stems come like fresh like this they are not hard they are not wooden unlike that of the basil basil stems come wooden most of the time and the stems of the mint leaf is also reddish like um wine reddish color like this and then the leaves are around it why scent leaf on the other hand or basil on the other hand doesn't come the stems are also the side the tender stems before it became, begins to get hard and woody is green in nature and not this color so can you spot the difference so like i said a peculiar difference is the mint smell or aroma you're going to get anytime you find this around you mint leaf has a fresh cool and slightly sweet flavor with a slight bitter aftertaste right and it has a lingering cool effect even after eating it in your tongue or drinking anything that has to do with fresh mint leaves mint are tender they have slight hairs around them like very in, almost invisible hairs on top of them but they are also tender you can just chop it up with your hand same thing with the basil but the basil doesn't have those hairs on top of them now um overall the summary of the differences is that mint leaf is minty and cool 
in taste and feel and fragrance or smell why basil is spicy and strong uh, similar to the basil plants but there are a whole lot of difference because the moment you place this somewhere you're just going to perceive the aroma of the mint leaf like it is fresh it is like bubble gum you know all those minty kind of candies that is exactly what you're going to perceive anytime you see the mint leaf or you keep the mint leaf around your house even in your refrigerator you're going to still perceive all those that minty smell that minty aroma is nice so why this can go for so many recipes and dishes you could do your pepper soup with it pasta different things because it is spicy in nature this on the other hand on this part of the world i am from nigeria so i'm just going to talk about how we know it here can go for drinks and um, smoothies and um, all those kind of things not all recipes not for all recipes you don't put mint on all recipes except you just want to have a twist of an appetite for you but basically when it comes to cooking this is the one a lot of people use why because it is spicy in taste when it comes to drinks smoothies and teas and all of those this is what a lot of people use i don't know how this is going to taste when you cook it but it is best consumed when it is fresh so guys thank you so much for watching this video i love you if you have watched this video up to this point thank you so much and i hope this video has been helpful guys i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up please i need it i need your likes i need your comments i need your engagement okay and don't forget to subscribe to this channel Channel. if you haven't subscribed to this channel if you learned something today and you got value thank you and see you on the next video bye